بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دوستو میں محمد عثمان آج ایک نئی ویڈیو کے ساتھ آپ کے سامنے حاضر ہوا ہوں دوستو انسانیت کا تعلق کسی انسان کے مذہب ملک یا کسی رنگ کے ساتھ نہیں ہوتا بلکہ اگر آپ کسی چیز کو کسی جنوار کو یا کسی انسان کو تکلیف میں دیکھ کے اس کی مدد کرتے ہیں تو اللہ کے ہاں آپ کا بہت بڑا رتبہ ہوتا ہے آج کی ویڈیو میں میں آپ کو ایک ایسی شخص سے ملواؤں گا جنہوں نے انسانیت کے ناتے انسانوں کی بہت زیادہ مدد کی ہے کچھ ٹائم پہلے میں نے ایک ویڈیو ڈالی تھی بوسنیا کے ایک شہر تزلہ کی جہاں پہ پوری دنیا سے آنے والے تارکین وطن سب سے پہلے آرام کی غرض سے وہاں پہ رکتے ہیں اور وہاں پہ کوئی ریگولر کیمپ نہیں ہے لیکن وہاں پہ بس اڈے پہ وہاں کے مقامی لوگوں نے گروپ کی شکل میں ان لوگوں کو پناہ دے رکھی ہے اور ان لوگوں کو کھانا کمبل اور بہترین قسم کی جو بھی ان سے ہو سکتی ہے مدد کر سکتے ہیں تو مدد کرتے ہیں یہ سب کیسے شروع ہوا اور کیسے ایک شخص نے یہ سب شروع کیا یہ سب دیکھنے کے لیے آپ یہ ویڈیو ضرور آخر تک دیکھیں تو ویڈیو کی طرف جانے سے پہلے میرے آج الحمدللہ چودہ ہزار سبسکرائبر پورے ہو چکے ہیں اور یہ سب آپ لوگوں کی وجہ سے ہوا ہے آپ لوگوں کا میں بہت زیادہ شکریہ ادا کرنا چاہوں گا جنہوں نے میرا چینل سبسکرائب کیا اور مجھے ابھی تک سپورٹ کیا ہے تو دوستو چلتا ہوں اپنی ویڈیو کی طرف My name is Senad, I am from Tuzla and I am volunteer here on the bus station in Tuzla 17 months. In this time I met a lot of people, a thousand people from Pakistan, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Iraq, Iran and all around the world. Uh, I am trying to help them here with my group and I think we are success in that. You know, Let's not help just with the blanket and with the food, it's we spend the time with immigrants, we say them welcome, we want to give them back dignity. And the most important thing that we are doing that by ourselves, you know, because we are not organization, we are just people with good heart from this city. And also in this way, I want to say all people, welcome, ehlan ve sehlan to Tuzla. Uh, the condition in this place, I'm so sorry about that, it's not good, you know, all people sleeping outside in this time, it's very cold. And we hope so in the future that our government is going to change this, like to build some camp or some place. For refugees and uh, how do you find people uh, like health wise uh, people when arrive here how do they find, you find uh, them in the beginning I was see people just on the street you know and when you see the people in need you are, of course trying to help but after some time when more and more people coming they are staying in the front of the office for, for the nationals they're also on the bus station to in the front of, of the mosque so every time we know the location where, where immigrants came and we are trying to, to to give them the first help you know like we are sharing the food giving the clothes trying to speak with the guys and th that's the way how we help how many people you are in groups uh, in your group trying to help people yeah uh, in my group it's between 10 and 15 people and uh, 80 percent are women so like 17 months our ladies cook at home then i came with my car i pick up the food and bring here on the bus station but now last two months we help we have a help from some tuzla organization you know who, who help us with the food so now it's a little bit easier we have enough food for everybody so that's most important thing that people are not hungry that they have a blanket and also that we speak with them we made a lot of friendships with them all people here for me are the same. I don't care about the religion, about where you're coming from. And I don't ask the reason why I'm coming from, because I think that all people have, have a freedom to go wherever they want. And at the end, I wish they open the borders for all of you guys. So, and what do you know about the Bihaj and the Wujak camp? I actually never was in Bihaj and never visited the Bihaj, but the information what I get from the guys from Pakistani, Afghani, Algeria, and Morocco, I don't know, they say it's not good condition, there is too much people, they're missing 
too much stuff over there they don't have black kids enough food and that's the information what i get and i don't want to go in bihaj because my heart is gonna be broken because i met a thousand people here you know and it, for me that's hard to see that how people suffer here in bosnia especially in bihaj thank you very much and uh, any special message i turn for the people of But bihaj spe and, special uh, message is just to open the borders you know i think that all people need to have a freedom to go and leave everybody is looking for better future even the bosnian people we are going also all around the europe and world thank you very much